coming to Boston vlog number two. Woohoo! I'm just here for so long, I figured I would split it up. So I literally just rolled out of bed. You can hear my voice. You're looking cozy, sir. <laughs> took my athletic greens as you can tell by my voice I should have showed you but I need all the things because we have not been <laughs> sleeping here we're gonna do a liquid IV as well I just feel like these are going to revive me I'm not sleeping much this one also has immune support, it says. So we're doing all the liquids over here because today is gonna be such a fun day. This is gonna be the best day yet in Boston so far since we have so many exciting things planned. Well, one of the first things I'm gonna show you guys is Lucy's final room reveal. I've been showing like little bits and pieces so far because I wanted to wait till I showed like everything together in this video. Room turned out so cute. I loved helping like pick out all the pieces and stuff. So yeah, I know you guys have already gotten like so many DMs about her apartment. You guys are obsessed. Her apartment is unreal as you can see. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that. And then later our bestie from home, Hannah, is actually visiting. And you guys know Taylor and Maddie and Kendall. Like we have dinner reservations. We're probably gonna do a cheese board moment before. So we have so many exciting things planned. He's gonna come take you on a walk, okay? But he's like, I'm ready for my morning walk. But yes, good morning. Ah, are we ready for the final reveal, you guys? I don't know if you're ready. It looks so good. I'm so obsessed with the way her room turned out. Thank you so much, Ashley, for sponsoring this video and working with us to create Lucy's dream room. Are you guys ready? The transformation is insane. From seeing this room before furniture, I honestly felt a lot smaller. And then getting it all together, it feels like so much bigger already. Okay, ready? Casey, walk in. Dun, dun, dun. Look at her room, you guys. It is so cozy so dreamy we are obsessed obviously like this piece of art we still have to hang lucy's deciding if she wants anything above her bed which i could see but also we kind of like it just minimal like this so here is the overview this is like so her and we just love so pretty much we picked out this bed frame right here from Ashley. It's so nice and cozy, exactly what we were looking for. And these nightstands, they are just gorgeous. Matching nightstands. Also, what you may not know is I feel like people think of Ashley for just furniture. They also have things like lamps. Both lamps are also from Ashley. They have mattresses. Lucy's mattress is also from Ashley. She needs a firm mattress because she has back problems um, and lots of back pain. So this mattress has been so good for her. She's like, literally, this is the best mattress I've ever slept on. So I'll make sure to link everything that she has in her room like exactly down below so you can see the exact mattress, the exact nightstands because these are insanely high quality, you guys. And I feel like are such a good price point so yes we love the mattress the nightstands the lamps and then we just got some bedding like a fuzzy blanket obviously going for the neutrals here and some flowers over there hydrangeas are our favorite and the dresser to go with right here stunning perfect amazing like are you kidding it's so pretty and so nice and just goes so well in here and then i recently picked up this big art piece right here i feel like it would pull it all together she has like a hamper over there this she found at my mom's house and it was like i just thought it was so cute like a little plant stand i'm like okay maybe we need a bigger plant to kind of balance it out she said from her childhood room she wanted to bring one thing she bought this lava lamp like how stinking cute her favorite perfume throwback has always been light blue so there it is she has some of her records her record player out there her bag and that is the overview you guys i guess i can bring you into her closet right here this is a whole room tour remember old youtube when it would be like <laughs> throwback to a room tour i feel like her closet is so nice came with all these built-ins and it's just been perfect for her okay how could i forget her favorite little giraffe all up here how cute on her little stack of books she's got a candle going and one of the most important parts her little view look at that it's like the perfect like golden hour time kind of like soft lighting look how pretty it is 
So if you are in the market for new furniture and even more than that, like I said, mattress, bedding, lamps, nightstands, rugs, like endless options on Ashley, I could not recommend enough since they have some really beautiful pieces on their website and again at such a good price. I never want to leave. Her room is so stinking cozy. Does it remind you guys of mine by the way? Because Lucy was like, hmm, I wonder who helped me design this. She was like, it looks like similar to yours. I don't know, I guess similar with like the neutrals and everything, but oh, I wish you guys could join me on her bed. It's so comfy. We've been sleeping so well. And yeah, there's like so many mattress options to choose from with different levels of like support, like firm just really helps her back feel like supported and everything. I also came so quick. Side note, yeah, there's options on there. You'll see it'll say comes in like three, five, seven days. It comes so quick so that's just so convenient especially when you're moving somewhere new you're like oh, i just want to be settled and have furniture it was such a blessing that we got her furniture from ashley since came so quick so easy to set up so i will have ashley linked down below again thank you so much ashley for working with us and creating lucy's dream room again like it's crazy how furniture can just bring a space to life and make it feel so much more spacious because when we first got here and it was empty and she had like an air mattress on the ground, you know, we were like, oh wow, like this room seems really small. And now you can probably hear it, like it sounds so spacious. So yes, we are obsessed. I'm <laughs> like, we, I'm not trying to leave. <laughs> but yes, of course Lucy is obsessed. Let us know down below in the comments if you are liking this minimal vibe because I think Lucy's such like a minimal girl. She just likes it simple and I think is thinking no art above her bed frame. But let us know because I feel like art would also be really cute above the bed frame. Also this rug we just picked up the other day from Target we're feeling like is a little small for this space and it looked like the bigger one was sold out. So <laughs> we might try to do like a layered rug look or swap it out for a new one. So let us know what you think. But yeah, that's Lucy's room tour complete. I highly recommend this bedroom. I could talk about it all day long. It's like this oatmeal color. So nice, like a linen. Yeah, again, all the pieces that she has in her room from Ashley. The link down below for you guys. And now I'm gonna go get ready. Cause like, oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show you. Today has been like all over the place. Okay, first, why don't I insert some iPhone footage from this morning. I didn't even show you guys yet. I need to explain. So pretty much Lucy and I went on a run with Brody to Newbury Street to like Back Bay and we did some shopping, went to Jenny Kane, I got some stuff and then we went on a walk with Taylor and Maddie and their dogs. And then I ended up at Trader Joe's and we were just like out and about running around like I didn't have my camera so I wanted to explain that. And then insert the footage there here so you'll see what's going on. And then after all of that, I need to get ready since we're gonna go have like a little cheese board like I said, go out to dinner, see everyone. I literally can't wait. closer together when you're running. <laughs> Usually the stores are pretty good with be coming in. Like way more stores are dog friendly than you would think, you know? Jenny Kane. Okay, yeah. Stop number one. <laughs> I don't know about this one. It'd be cute. Okay, we really like this scarf. Like it's so cute. Brody has been having a blast in here, you guys. This place is so beautiful. It's like so my vibe. Brody matches the aesthetic, huh? <laughs> it's such a pretty day out. Bobby. <laughs> Shocker, found ourselves back in Tate. You guys know. Love it here. She is zipping around. 
Look at you go. <laughs> go <me. laughs> Quick Trader Joe's run. I have the cutest shopper in front of me. Just some cheese board essentials, some flowers. Doing all the things today. <laughs> it's literally packed in here. 8 p.s. Last thing out here in Lucy's living room. She actually also got her little media console stand from Ashley, which is so perfect and like so cute in their space. It's like a gold stand with the glass. We love Brody. <laughs> Say, Lucy's apartment is so cozy. I'm never leaving. Yeah. He loves it, Yuri. <laughs> ready? Uber's here. Finally ready. We gotta go. I'm wearing like a fancy We're wearing shirt. similar like mesh sleeve shirts. Okay, see ya when we make our cheese board. <laughs> we make a fun big family, but we don't look the same. We are different, different colors. Are you screaming? You guys know all the words. <laughs> we, know, we went farther we before. Did. Brody, the cheetah sisters. What do you think? They're the cheetah girls. I don't know. You're a cheetah girl now. I'm <laughs> good. Yeah, he wants to be so a cheetah girl. I know, if you're staying with do us, you want you gotta, a cheetah girl? You, you gotta... Brody, do you want to stay after I go? He loves it here. I think I Look at him. He's thriving. He loves Kendall, too. Like, yeah, he, was, he loves both Kendall of you. Kendall upstairs to change, and he was like looking upstairs like, where is she? Mm, yeah, he where loves you. Give him way too many oh. drinks. You love. <laughs> we want him oh, over. Oh, no, he's literally He's at looking that. for pretzels. <laughs> cool. It's 1.30, so and we're exhausted. Thank God we're back, though. We were saying... Thank God we didn't go out any later, because that would have been more terrible. Best decision ever made. Yeah, that would have been terribler, terribler. <laughs> we need to go to bed. Huh? Good huh. morning. Good morning. Sunday morning, and I'm really sad. I'm getting all the love. I'm so dramatic. I think probably the longest I've gone without him is maybe a week. Boy. I love you. He's like, let me be. Okay, I need to explain. <laughs> the reason I'm really sad is because, you guys, Lucy and Kendall made a very good case to me last night. Did you find a quantity? They presented an idea to me and they said hey since we are driving to Long Island on Tuesday but I'm even here today like Lucy and Kendall are on Tuesday and I am on Tuesday third drive from here obviously and then I'm gonna drive from Pennsylvania since we're back to Pennsylvania today they were like hey why don't you just leave Brody here for the next two days then since we're all gonna be on Long Island Tuesday anyway and then you'll be back with him on Tuesday and I was like I can't do that I can't be without him and then I was like he is so much fun here, and he's obsessive. Come here, get over here. But come, get over here. I'm talking about you. And they were like, that way he can sit with us. Brody, sit. Why don't you sit and look at the camera with me? Stay with me. Oh. Wrong way. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna stay here. Is what I'm trying to say. Cause he loves them. And his favorite person in the world is Lucy. Hello. Oh. I'm gonna insert a picture here right, wait, <laughs> insert a picture right here of last night. I was like, oh, it's our last sleep together. <laughs> it's 
so dramatic. I'll literally see it for two days. So I was trying to cuddle with him and he immediately flops over and lays on Lucy. I wasn't even there yet. She just laid on myself. I know, because he likes you better. <laughs> he loves Lucy. And I figured it would be kind of the best for him too since it's like almost six hours of driving back to Pennsylvania. And then I would also do the other like three hour drive to Long Island. And then now he only has to do the drive to Long Island, you know? And he loves Boston. I'm going to the blue. And also Monday during the day, I'm going to be gone like all day. And there's like a home flyers game and stuff that I'm going to go to. So on Monday in Pennsylvania, I was going to put Brody in daycare anyway. So I was like, you know what? I was maybe going to be with him during the day Monday. So he can just stay. So there's just like a number of reasons that it makes sense. Well, we've decided. I'm leaving. You're staying. What do you think about that? I don't know if I'm going to be okay. You're my bestie. And the reason that I'm okay with being alone. Because I'm not really alone. It's my bestie. Was that all out of focus? I just looked back and it looks like a lot of that clip was out of focus. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's annoying. I don't know why that happened. Maybe because I was like, sitting on the ground. But we're gonna go get bagels and coffee on my way out. We had so much fun last night at Lolita. We swung by the Grand for like a hot sec, but we left very quickly because everyone was so tired. And our main thing was Lolita. We went to the one in Seaport. And I guess like four point. And it was so fun, it was so good. And it's just such a vibe in there with like a big group and like drinks and their special martinis were so good. Highly recommend. I'm gonna miss you. Who's in here? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Boston. This view. Hmm. I just drove back to Pennsylvania. It's honestly, I can't believe it's still bright enough for me to film this right now, it's 4.45. It felt like so long getting back here, but I'm feeling blessed that it was during the daylight because right as it gets dark and I'm driving, I get so tired and like an over a five hour drive is like tiring enough as it is, you know? But I wanted to end off the vlog here. <laughs> Even though I feel like this one's probably short and just sad, I feel like my time in Boston went by so quick. So you know you love a place and love all your friends. So it went by way too quick. And we literally just had the best time. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little like Newberry moment. I was so excited. I talked about the cheese board like all day and then I literally filmed like two clips. My iPhone was, it was like empty and we ate it all. Oh yeah, I was saying that like Lolita was so good. Didn't I say that already? Yeah, I think I said this morning when I was saying bye to Brody. I also can't believe that Brody didn't come home with me. I don't know if you can see, I just picked up like a bunch of packages that were waiting here for me. And like, I have packages back there instead of Brody. So sad driving home without him. But luckily I was on the phone with Hannah for a while on the drive back, which is so funny because we were together yesterday, if you even saw. I know I just had like little iPhone clips because I was just like in the moment being social with my friends. But we were like, we felt like we didn't even get to really catch up the two of us because there were so many of us together. So we talked for probably like two hours on the drive and I love having long phone calls on a drive. It just makes it go by so quick. And I talked to my mom, I talked to my cousin Mandy, listened to a podcast, listened to music. I had like so much time to do all these things. So it was great and I really hope you guys enjoyed Lucy's room tour because I love the way it came together and we're still trying to figure out if she wants art above her bed. I feel like an interior designer right now. It's so fun. And what to do about the rug if we want to layer it with a bigger rug underneath like a jute rug I was thinking it would be cute layered or do we just want to like return it because she just got it and it's been there for like one day. I hope she can still return and get a new one. I don't know. We shall see. But I'm going to end off this vlog here because I want to start a new one tonight. Finally, I've decided I'm going to decorate for Christmas. It's been a long time coming. I feel like everyone else has already decorated. I feel a little bit late to decorating. I feel like people used to decorate like December 1st, like after Thanksgiving, but now it seems like the day after Halloween, everyone's like decorating. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to end off this vlog here. If you guys enjoyed my Boston content, thank you so much for watching. Love ya, and I'll see you in my next video.